want to get out and about and see a bit more of the surrounding area. Um, but that's it really, that's basically the hotel here at the Alcudia Park. Okay then, so on your doorstep then, we're in an area called Maidenora, which is the bottom part of uh, Port of Alcudia Resort. Now the Port of Alcudia is a huge resort, it takes a good half an hour and say to drive from one end of it to the other. So we work our way through your maps that you've got in your pack. So you just want to pop these great big folder maps out and I'll uh, show you around and let you know where we are. Open it up, sir. Okay. So we're in an area at the bottom of the map then. You'll see this map here, which is the same as your own map just there. Okay? We're at hotel number 16, so you'll see you've got your little key down the side. So the Alcudia Park is hotel number 16. Now, if you come out of the front door of the hotel, you'll see that we have got this main road in front of us. And this main road is the road that stretches the whole length of the resort. So it really couldn't be any easier to find your way around Port of Alcudia. For your immediate um, surrounding area, if you come out of the door and just turn to the right hand side, you'll see you've got a small hotel supermarket just there. So if you wanted any bottles of water or postcards or any snacks like that, then you've got that just on your doorstep. If you continue going along to your right hand side, they walk about five minutes up the road, you'll come to um, a small selection of restaurants there, including a lovely little tapas restaurant called La Delicious, and you've got some British bars down there as well. We've also got a much bigger supermarket also. So if you're going out for the day and you want to leave snacks to take with you, packets of crisps or anything like that, then that shop up there is slightly cheaper and it's about five minutes to walk up the road there. But if you turn to the left and keep on walking down here for about five minutes to your left, you'll come to your nearest bus stop. Now the number two bus is your local bus that runs through the north of the island. So if we just follow the bus route, I'll explain the north of the island to you. If you catch the number two bus from this bus stop just here, like I say to your left, it will first take you up into Port of Alcudia itself. Now like I say, this main road goes all the way up into the port, so you'll keep following it along and it will come into Port of Alcudia, which is that big map at the top there. The first main area that you come to in Port of Alcudia, you'll see a big cluster of hotels. And this is known as the Bellevue Strip. So this road runs down from the number seven just there all the way down to the main road. Now you'll know you come when you come to the Bellevue Strip straight away because you'll see Pizza Hut, KFC and uh, Burger King there on the corner of it. So you'll know straight away where you are. Now I'll point that out because that is your lively area. If you want to go out and you don't want your head to hit the pillow before 5 o'clock in the morning, then that's where you need to head to. It is extremely family orientated though, so there's a lot of family restaurants down there, Bob the Builder and Jake from Tweenies have to make an appearance down there for the little ones in the evening. So you don't need to worry too much about trouble down there at all, we really don't get any trouble here late at night. It's got plenty of arcades along there as well, so you've got plenty of all the um, arcade games and consoles down there also. And you've also got quite a few restaurants. If you're partial to a nice Chinese, you'll find a Chinese every other door stuff. Alright, there's lots of Chineses down there. There's also nice Indians down there, and lots of British food places. And again, you've got some Spanish restaurants, including pizzerias. You've got some Italian pizzerias as well. So if you want to treat yourself to a meal out, then you've got those back just there. It's about five to ten minutes on the bus down there and it's a euro minimum charge to get there as well so it's not very expensive at all. To keep on going then past the Bellevue Strip along the main road it will take you around the corner to the port area itself in Alcudia which is just here on the corner of your map. Now the port area of Alcudia is where you need to go if you want to flex your credit card. The shopping down there is absolutely fantastic. I'm afraid it's not sale season at the moment for your side find or your designer boutique so you will need to get the old plastic out if you do want to go down there but it will be well worth it when you are there. And we have got some high street shops such as Mango's down there as well. We've got a shop called um, Bulldog Clothing but most of them are Spanish designer boutiques. Please bear in mind though the yes period here so with regards to shops and um, between 12 and 4 o'clock the majority of the shops will be closed. Just on that note really quickly, um, you may notice that quite a few shops are closed today it's just because it's Easter Sunday. They will all be open again tomorrow. But it's a huge religious weekend for them here so most of the shops will all be closed today. So don't be worried if you see a lot shut down. Tomorrow morning they'll all be open again. Also in the port then, if you did want to try the local cuisine here, so that would be tapas, then the port has got some beautiful, beautiful tapas restaurants. You just need to step behind the port area and you'll find a lot of hidden back streets there and that's where you'll find most of the traditional family run tapas restaurants. If you like steak houses, you've got a couple of steak houses there, we've got an American Tex-Mex restaurant and one of the best Italian restaurants I've ever eaten is there as well called Piero Rosso. Well, if you have any perfect. questions about any of those then just give us a shout afterwards and we'll mark them on your map for you and let you know where they are. 
So if you carry on then staying on the bus through the port of Alcudia, it will take you about 10 minutes up the road to the old town of Alcudia. Now the old town of Alcudia where you'll find most of the locals tend to live, rather than living here where all the hotels are, they'll live a bit further inland in the town itself. And the town's an old Roman town, so it's a really nice day out for a morning out if you wanted to have a stroll up to there or catch the bus up there. Now on a Sunday and a Tuesday morning, that is where you'll find the local market in Alcudia town. And it's held morning only, so we'll start packing up about midday, one o'clock in the morning. And the bus will take you directly there and drop you off straight in the heart of the market. It's the, local, uh, sorry, the largest market on the north of the island, and it's also a bartering market. So you need to get packed in with your tagging skills. Um, but leather goods are particularly um, cheap down there, so lots of belts, purses and handbags and that kind of thing. Also there, you've got the castle walls in Alcudia town, so you can have a wander around the castle walls. People still live and work within the castle walls themselves. And we've also got the only working bull ring on the north of the island can also be found there. I'm afraid it's not bull fighting season at the moment, so if you're a bit squeamish or you're not into that kind of thing, you can still pay for the euro <coughs> to have a guided tour around the bull ring itself, just so you can get a taste for it and a feel for it as well. It's no old Roman bull ring. Yeah. Now if you stay on the bus going through Alcudia town, it will take you to Port de Poyenza, which is this map just here on the side. Yeah. Now Port de Poyenza is the most northern resort on the island here, and it's an old traditional um, fishing village. It's absolutely beautiful, it's very exclusive, all the rich people from mainland Spain have their holiday homes down there. It's very nice if you want to go up in ladies, if you want to trade your husbands up for a newer model, you need to pop down there, leave them at home. Now, Port de Poyenza, you'll find again plenty of um, traditional Spanish restaurants are also there. But Port de Poyenza is very, very well known for its walking and also its water sports. The bay is absolutely beautiful. It does have a man made beach, but you wouldn't know to look at it at all. It's a lovely little beach. You can take a nice little stroll around the coastline of Port de Poyenza. You can go all the way up to the corner there. And that's known as the Pine Valley Walk. So you literally walk along the coastline for about 40 minutes along. And it's a dead end at the end of the Gun Military Base there, so you can't go any further. If you are into walking, the only one with a bit more of a serious walk, you can do the Bocca Valley Walk, which is that big green area that's just on the corner of the Palenza map. And the Bocca Valley will take you all the way over to the other side of the headland to Calabocca, which is a nice little secluded beach. There's no cafes or anything there though, so if you did want to spend the day there, then you would just need to take yourself and pack lunch and some drinks with you. Um, but it'll take you about an hour and a half stroll to get to the other side of Calabocca. So again, a really nice day out, especially if you've got the kids and you just want a bit more of a secluded beach. So obviously this one here is absolutely huge, um, but the one down there is a lot smaller. Alright. Now the other side from where we are, if you catch the bus from the other side of the road and go down to the left, that'll take you to the third resort on the north of the island, which is Camp Pickerfort. And Camp Pickerfort is this bottom map here. Now Camp Pickerfort is a traditional working Spanish town, okay? It's not as pretty as the port area of Alcudia or as Port of Poyenta, but it is a living and working Spanish town rather than a purpose built resort. It's got a fantastic promenade along there with all cafes, you can sit literally on the beach. Um, it's got a bar down there that's got a huge kids area, including all the ball pits and everything, but they can just you can let them loose in there and they'll have a whale of a time down there. Also, they have a market on a Friday morning in Camp Pickerfort, which is located up near the harbour area. They do have a very small harbour area. And then the road that's just behind um, the promenade, so behind the beachfront, you'll find plenty of shops down there, and more clothes shops down there. They've got more clothes shops in, in Camp Pickerfort than we have in Alcudia. All right, but Camp Pickerfort does stretch along one main road, so be warned, you need to put some good walking shoes on, because it can take you a while to walk from one end to the other. But definitely, definitely well worth it. So just to recap then, the number two bus is the bus that you'll need to get to go around the circular route, so it goes around all three resorts on the north of the island. The same bus there as it is coming back. On the bus stops you will see your know, bus timetable is posted up, but a word of warning, they have a nasty habit of not taking the old timetable down, and they're not even kind enough to put the new ones over the top, they just put them next door. So when you are looking at the timetable, just have a look at the bottom and it'll have dates in very small print. So you just need to be looking at the 1st of April to the 30th of April bus timetables. And then the last thing to mention about the timetables is if it says has to Alcudia on there, it means it only goes to Alcudia Port. It won't carry on to Port to Poyetta. So just bear that in mind as well. Alright, so that's the resort on the north of the island. In your packs, in your packs you do also have a small map, which is just a small map there of the island of Mallorca. So if you do want to spread your wings, get a little bit further afield. And Mallorca is a beautiful island, there's plenty for you to be seeing and doing. 
So as Zoe mentioned, all the results from the North Coast Agency, both at Bienza, both to Alcudia, can be down to Cancer before. If you come across from this, this will lead you right round onto the East Coast. Now the East Coast, you'll see that a lot of the results down there do start with the word Cala, and Cala basically means small coast, and just down the East Coast you'll find all the beaches that set within the small coast, as opposed to the long stretches of beaches that we have up here on the north. Um, east is sort of really a hidden treasure in New York, it's really nice down there. You find some lovely coast and it's really good for snorkeling. Um, if you like to get out and do a bit of snorkeling in the sea, then the East Coast is the best place to go. The main resort that we have on the east coast of Mallorca, if you look about halfway down, you'll see Porto Cristo, just about halfway down the east coast there. Porto Cristo is a very quaint sort of little fishing village. We've got a lovely harbour there, which is lined with bars and restaurants and cafes and things. Porto Cristo actually translates to the port of Christ. This is what it